back with a brief update on my Garden 3.0 indoor hydroponic growing system. So, uh, since the last video, I've gotten rid of a lot of the old pots that were in here. I've done another tank refresh just a couple days ago. Um, I've started several new plants, mostly leafy greens, because I've decided that's seems to be what I can grow best in these systems so I'm not doing any more fruiting plants in these in, in this thing or in my other uh, rise garden either uh, other than what I had already started in here and that's taking forever <laughs> to come to fruition um, and then I have pots that are left over um, for my subscription that I might have some pepper pods or some tomatoes. I'm going to use that stuff up. I'm not going to let it go to waste. But, you know, after that's all done, I'm not planning to try to grow any more fruiting plants in here. I've gotten a couple strawberries, the ones I've gotten, maybe, you know, maybe five at the most. Uh, and I have two plants. They were really sweet. They were wonderful. But it took months for them to produce. And like I said, I got like maybe five. And they weren't that big. And then these alpine strawberries here, I have not gotten anything off of that, although they're flowers, as you can see. Um, herbs did okay in here. Um, I have this little tomato plant, which looks sad. It's not doing much. The flower I had in here, I don't know if that was a marigold or or something. It uh, does not look very, very good either. The bright spot is I do have some little peppers, and this looks like a jalapeno. Um, so there are three, four peppers on there, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I have another pepper plant here that's very tall, and it looks like it's just forming some baby peppers if they don't fall off. Um, I did uh, get a pH, a new pH meter, and so I have been testing the pH now regularly, as in pretty much every day. Um, I have two systems. I have this one, and I have a rise garden, and the rise garden I am not as happy with as I am with this one, but um, I'm testing the pH every day to make sure it stays between 6.5 and 6.8, which is where I like it, and where the plants tend to do best. Um, I'm using my own nutrients. I'm using liquid fertilizer. I do fertilizing once a week, and I'm also now using uh, CalMag, which I've often used with indoor plants um, as a little supplement. So I have that in liquid form, and I'm using that a little bit of that too um, once a week. And then I am using citric acid instead of buying their Hydro Boost <laughs> to help keep the tank clean and all of that I, I read the ingredients list and the the most prevalent ingredient in that is citric acid and I always have that on hand at home because it's useful for a lot of things it's useful for helping uh, you not have mineral deposits like I use it in the dishwasher um, to clean the washing machine sometimes things like that but anywho so I'm using that I put about a teaspoon just a little bit in uh, the tank whenever I add water. The nice thing about the garden is that it hardly ever asks me to add water. It's like it evaporates extremely slowly. I may have to add water once every two to three weeks. And then there's a refresh. I think it's once a month. So really between refreshes, I'm only maybe adding water one time. Um, so I like that about the system. Um, as I've said before, these things to me just in my experience of them, are best suited for leafy greens and herbs. Anything that is fruiting or that flowers or requires fertilization, that kind of thing, um, I do not think this is a wise use of space, time, effort, money to do that because I have tomatoes and pepper plants that have been in these things, both systems, for now over 90 days and are just now like setting fruit and the fruit isn't even that big. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a long time. I mean, by the time these fruit are ripe, it'll be time to plant outside, I mean, in, in my zone. So uh, I'm gonna use up all the pots I have now. I, I have a subscription, so I have a number of pots. Some are tomatoes and 
peppers I'm sure and other things I don't know if I even got eggplant but I'm going to use those up but beyond that I'm not planning to ever <laughs> plant any more fruiting types of vegetables or fruits in the system I will solely do leafy greens and herbs and it seems to be wonderful for that uh, I mean I can't speak highly of it enough for, for that purpose all right, that's all I got on my little mini update. I think that's it for reviews of this system. I don't really have, you know, I can't imagine there's anything else I'll need to add. Um, now that I'm on my second round of growing, it's kind of, I'm sure it'll be consistent after this. It is definitely worth the investment overall. I uh, really like the garden. It is my favorite of the two that I have. I have the garden and I have the rise garden and I am not very fond of the rise garden there's a lot of negatives but that, that'll be another video <laughs> this system I really like I like that it's small it's compact it's physically attractive the water um, doesn't evaporate very fast so you don't uh, have to worry about constantly adding and checking you can go on vacation or whatever and it'll probably be fine um, and allegedly if you use this hydro boost or in my case citrus citric acid it will minimize you having to take this whole thing apart all these white little tube sections and cleaning that so so that's good because that I still obviously haven't done um, I check inside of them like you know when I do the tank refresh to make sure it's not looking gross in there and everything seems to be pretty clean so I'm hoping to not have to deal with taking all these pieces apart for several months. Um, and, and that will be more manageable because that seems like that would be the biggest stressor here is because like I said before, each one of these sections is like six inches and they're all just kind of screwed together. So that's a lot of little pieces. <laughs> all right. That's all I have. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.